Hey what's up, Ian from Powerhouse Miniatures, this is a Warhammer Age of Sigmar showcase video of Slambo, Exalted Hero of Chaos. So this guy is a new release, basically it is a throwback to a 1980s miniature, um, one of the old pewter miniatures that was called Slambo basically, it would look exactly like this, just um, slightly shittier, <laughs> like just cast a bit worse. Um, this one's been re-sculpted, it's really really nice and it's much, um, much more in proportion, much bigger um, and obviously um, without resin. It's a fine cast version and not plastic or, or pewter or anything like that. I'm not sure why they did fine cast again and there's been a few ones that have been released fine cast like Canon S Viridium was fine cast as well. And they seem to be reserving that now just for like one off miniatures or a few less but they've not, def definitely not phased it out. Uh, so there you go, so pretty much um, I keep wanting to say Warhammer well, Fantasy but it's not, it's Age of Sigmar. Um, so these guys got little, little rules in Age of Sigmar and you get some rules in the booklet um, in all sorts of different languages as well which is Oh, yeah, so. but, uh, yeah, you get a load of different rules for him, and then of course I believe you can use him in um, Warhammer Quest as well. Or I mean, you can use him in RPGs like at all. Any sort of um, you, use him, you can use him whatever you want, <laughs> like it's up to you. But um, yeah, he's got rules in Age of Age of Sigmar, so I'll show you though. Uh, you get a little booklet with the miniature, which is kind of cool. So, right, I'll zoom out in just a second. There we go. So if you want to read that you can pause it, hopefully this is like high enough definition that you can pause it quite well. Um, 5 wounds, 5 inch move, 4 plus save, 8 bravery. He's got a hurled axe which is an 8 inch ranged weapon, 3 plus to hit, 3 plus to wound, minus 1 rend, d3 damage. And then he's got 2 chaos axes in axe, uh, two chaos axes in, uh, in melee, 1 inch range, d6 attacks, 4 plus to hit, 3 plus to wound, minus 1 rend and then 1 damage. Slambo is a single model, is armed with a pair of Chaos Axes which he uses to carve apart enemies at close quarters. He can also hurl them at cowardly foes who refuse to come close. He's got Legendary Killer. <clears throat> if Slambo charges, he can pile in and attack twice in the following combat phase instead of only once. The second piling move and attacks are made immediately after the first set of attacks is completed. The first set of attacks is completed is wrong, it should be R. Attacks is plural, attacks are completed. Uh, Glory Seeking Axe Man, add 1 to hit rolls for Slambo if the target is a hero or monster. If Slambo kills a hero or monster in a combat phase, he doubles the number of attacks he makes in his chaos with his Chaos Axes in the next combat phase. So he's a beast, basically. Get rid of all that, he's a, he's a beast. Um, <laughs> so he can attack twice, which is crazy. Um, like 2d6 attacks, hitting on 4s, wounding on 3s. So I don't play Age of Sigmar at all, and I was really disappointed when it came out, basically. I'm, I'm not to moan or anything like that, but um, I really really like Warhammer Fantasy and I, was, I thought it was a real shame they got rid of that um, and actually at the time I lost quite a lot of money because um, uh, people pulled out of commissions and didn't want any um, Age of Sigmar stuff doing basically and it's very subjective and it's anecdotal and personal and all the rest of it but nobody I know wants to play Age of Sigmar and none of my gaming friends or people in like my small pocket of the community uh, wanted to play Age of Sigmar at all. Um, and we're actually, they were all, a lot of people complain and all the rest of it, and I really don't want to do that, but <laughs> I sort of am, so there you go. But um, yeah, I lost quite a lot of money, and um, and again, I, I, won't, I won't talk about that really, but it's been like two years now, and I've never had a commission for Age of Sigma. I never got a fantasy commission ever again, so that's that's the long and short of it. Um, I was really disappointed with that, and then I've not, I've played the game maybe twice. So it's not fair for me to say that I don't enjoy the game because I've not really tried it. And I think that's the case for a lot of people, if we're honest with ourselves. I've not really given it a good chance either. But there you go. Um, Warhammer Age of Sigmar. So Slambo, like I said, you can use him for Warhammer Quest. And um, it's kind of cool they're doing these little throwback models. A bit like Canon S Viridian. There was, it was obviously sculpted on John Blanche's art from like the, the, I think it was the second or third edition Sisters of Battle Codex from like the 90s. Yeah, but this one as well is like a, a re-sculpt of really old classic miniature. So I hope they keep doing that because it's an absolute money spinner for them because it's 12 quid for this single figure so it's like a character figure um, which is that's the most profit obviously the, the smallest product really easy to produce and ship and everything like that but then it's also like always got a really strong nostalgia market it's a cool miniature multiple uses um, and it's a pleasure to paint it's so like in terms of the painting itself um, the miniature again I like the way they're doing it because the way this, um, the miniatures are assembled these days the joins around, you know, the natural joins that would happen 
um, around the elbows and where the armor joins to the arm or when like he's got um, where the axe joins to the wrist there for example uh, the elbow sorry that is where it would naturally go so the lines between each piece for example like the, the pieces you glue together is it's just natural so it doesn't look like a mold line it doesn't look like anything unnatural if you don't assemble it properly um, and it means that you don't have, have to do a load of like, modeling work you don't have to fill a load of the gaps in which is really cool so all together look really good and then in terms of the painting I copied the box art obviously and it tells you on the back of the box which paints you're going to use which is cool as well um, like cyberite green and moot green and stuff like that but this one because it's um, it's long curved metallic surfaces it's a really good practice to, um, for painting your blending basically so I know you can and you can sort of see there but just for example it's like a really good way to try and get your green really smooth um, and it, it was those sort of things and it's like glazing and blending and shading and stuff like that um, but a really really good practice and it's uh, oh, the one in the box obviously when you get the box the box art is you know six inches tall on the box so you can really see exactly what they've done I know they airbrush all the pictures and they like edit all the pictures and stuff but you can still really see really clearly like exactly what the paint has done and it's really skillful and so if you try and copy that at least which is I mean I'm not gonna lie it's what I did I tried to copy it off the box um, it's, re it's a really good um, practice for sort of light theory, colour theories, blending, shading, all that sort of stuff. So that's what it is. And then a couple of like chips and scratches and some like blood all over the axes and things. The base is a Grell and Badland, which is like a cool cracked effect. Um, like, it's like a biscuit, you know, like a like a cookie almost, like a chocolate cookie. Um, but that's exactly what you want, looks really good. And then some like wasteland tufts. And then this guy's for sale as well on the eBay page. And if you've got an eBay, I've got a load of things for sale on there. You'll be able to find it. Um, and I think that is a lot. So, as always, there's HD pictures on my Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash powerhouse miniatures. I've got a hundred and something um, YouTube videos at this point, mostly showcases and stuff, but I'm hoping to start doing a few more um, review videos and some of the um, Gathering Storm stuff. I want to start getting the reviews out as soon as the thing comes out. Or when um, like I've got that Artificer paint set, the Artificer tint set, and I need to do a review video on it. But they would get the most views and the most impact if you want, if I do it as soon as they come out. So this year, one of my goals, if you want, for, for YouTube is to um, start doing a lot more review videos and get like a bit more diversity on my channel. Because at this time, um, I'm rambling again, obviously. But I moved house. I'm building a new studio, so it's been hectic. It's just I'm doing I'm a million things at once, like I'm like a hummingbird, you know, multitasking. And you know how bad that is for you. Um, yeah, so in, in, in total I've just been getting a bit scatterbrained with stuff. But I would love to start doing a, a few more varied things on YouTube and grow this channel a little bit. Um, because obviously uh, at the moment I'm just doing sort of showcase videos. And I appreciate that it's not something that everybody wants to see a lot of the time. Or at least the reviews and like the... Um, painting tutorials got a load more views and some of the like them I did a review of like the Citadel basin set and the basin effect textures and that got like thousands and thousands of views so um, more stuff like that from me anyway that's your lot so as always I really appreciate you watching these videos um, and yeah have a good day